So I'm going to show you today how to make a washer with your disc cutter, your Swanstrom disc cutter that I got from Rio Grande. Um, first I have my copper sheets and it's important to use a brass hammer when you're making, um, using the disc cutter. It's heavy and it doesn't matter that the face is getting beat up. You don't want to use one of your nice planishing or chasing hammers with it because it will mess up the face and affect all the rest of your jewelry metal that you use in the future. So I'm going to put my um, copper into the disc cutter with um, a washer of the same thickness metal on the opposite side of my disc cutter and that keeps it balanced so that you don't have any problems down the road. And then um, close it down on your smaller piece. You want to leave a fair amount of metal around there because you're going to be cutting the whole um, the bigger hole on the outside of this. So you don't want to get up to the edge of your metal when you're cutting this out. And then just going to, I put a little bit of Pur life also on this to help um, preserve the tool um, so it'll last a lot longer uh, for me and stay sharp and hit it. Then you want to tap it down so that this goes all the way through. Otherwise, um, it will end up getting stuck in there and your metal could get stuck. You might have to send it back to Rio or Auto Fry or wherever you got it from. So I have a small washer right now from that. Open this up. And this is the hole that I just made. Now what I want to do is fit that into a larger size. It doesn't matter which one you do. But you, depending on what you want, you can make it as centered as possible. Um, I'm going to look straight down on it and see what well, that looks about pretty centered, you can offset it as well. So, and then I'm going to use my disc cutter again and pop it on there. Go. There you go. So now you have two washers you can use for earrings or whatever.